we basically dropped our other careers and started working on this project. And, and what you're going to learn about today is basically how the future of business is going to look. Because we all have to start doing something that is not invasive to nature and the planet. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. Well, tell me what you found here. I found a little tomato. We are from Las Vegas, New Mexico. We're with Rio Gaina School. And it's a charter school. We're in our fifth year as a school. We have just over 100 kids. And two years ago, all of these students were designing green machines, 120 square foot structures that caught, um, caught, stored, and used water, caught, stored, and used energy, and used green building materials and grew organic food. So two years later, we just just last week finished putting up a 33-foot grow dome from Pagosa. And we're here today because we want to know what kind of experiments we can do on that dome throughout the rest of this fall. Scary stuff. Three hours. At a stint. Going like this. <laughs> and the whole time, I'm thinking about all these healthy, vibrant children getting nice, good, organic veggies. It's the only thing that keeps my arm pumping. Just give it a couple of pumps. Man, you already been eating those organic veggies, haven't you? It's got a little bit of elbow grease to it, huh? <laughs> Imagine doing that all day long. Go, Robin, go. Okay, broke it. How are we gonna get the doughs out? Yeah. Oh, check out the water lily. Really. Isn't that awesome? I didn't realize it, it was blooming. You can grow some fruits, but some fruits actually have to freeze overnight. They have to freeze over the winter or they don't set their fruit. So they've learned that you cannot grow peaches. Okay. Well, what about grapes? You can grow figs. You can grow grapes. You can grow lemons and oranges. Even if it freezes, like say you come in and your lettuce is frozen, if you spray it with water, it'll be fine. It'll go, oh, thank you, and it'll come back. <laughs> so that's something you need to know, because you might Hi, be shocked one day and go, oh, we lost it all, because it's frozen, but it isn't. It's just cold. Yes. What is kale? I mean, that's the question of the day. What mm -hmm. is kale? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? I do. Can you tell us? Do you have a dictionary? There's some in one of the domes. There is. Yeah. Go find one. Like is, right? is it a melon? Yeah. Isn't it like that it's, green leaf with like the purple and the yellow stems? That was probably charred, but it's close to charred. It's really similar to charred. It's a green, it's it like tastes a like charred. Green, and it's sort of like a charred. It's really good for you. Swiss charred. Yeah, Swiss charred, so you know what's going on. What size dome do you have? 33. 33, okay, so you've got fans anyway, but it might be good to have your door open because that creates more of a through stream. So you wanna have a screen door like that one does when it's warm. So you can keep the critters out, but keep the air flowing through, right? Oh. Or you could grow tall plants in the south side, like um, sunflowers. So you can see when we go in that we have sunflowers in there. Or you can grow them on the outside as well. You could grow anything that climbs to make shade. Or have trees, you know? So those are all ways you can cool it, which you're going to need to know in New Mexico. So what they picked was some fresh tomatoes. We've got like three or four different varieties. <laughs> We've got jalapenos going on. We've got celery, parsley, onions, carrots. And if the squash were a little bit further along, we'd be doing squash just to liven it up a little bit, but it's not quite ready. Okay, get your tomato squished and then head on. <laughs> Okay, I feel sorry that. for salsa making people. Okay, oh. all right. <laughs> okay, go ahead and head into the shop once you've got your Get out of your way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It felt like. Farmers are in you. Can't get it. It tastes like tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tastes like salsa. But even better. And then at the end, you get. A little yeah, kick of the jalapeno really in it. Really I mean, it's really I'm really looking forward to doing all kinds of science experiments because I know that for me personally, science has kind of been a low point, and so I think that it would be really cool for science to be our main part of our education. Yeah.